Hello Scorpio and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you are super excited for this reading. I'll be pulling out three cards for your energy, career, your finances and anything that your spirit team wants you to know. So Scorpio, let's get started. I hope you're excited and I hope you're all doing fantastic, of course. <laughs> so let's begin. All right. Scorpio, your first card, energy card, we have, excellent, we have the six of wands here. This is celebration, victory. The energy here is winning, victory, accolades, people clapping for you. There's some reason to celebrate, there's a reason to smile too. However, though, the energy here is also, this did not happen overnight, this took years. This took practice, knowledge, sacrifice and hours. Whatever it is that you're working on, Scorpio, you're going to come out winning too. This is fantastic. Second card, energy. We also have the Five of Cups here. This is also the energy, if it resonates also, when you put in 100% into something and it doesn't work out. There is embarrassment, there is a bit of shame, guilt, and even sadness too. But it's going to be okay, Scorpio. It will be okay because sometimes when we do see things not working out, we also learn from them too. They are our lessons. They are our experience too. That gives us life lesson. They make us grow into more wiser people. And the third card, we also have the page of wands here. Passionate messages too. Do expect to see some form of message. It's all about messages, about things that you're very creative about. Projects, whether it's a side hustle, messages of the heart about love romance and even career too so anything that you love to do anything that makes you feel very passionate so we do have quite a lot of passion energy here because you do have the six of wands the page of wands there's a bit of sadness here yep yeah. but overall there's more passion here feeling excited feeling alive again just excellent let's have a look at your finances so I'm going to do career first and then finances, Scorpio. So let's shuffle these cards. Excellent. So Scorpio, your first card for career. Have, excellent. Queen of Cups here. Scorpio, so this is literally you. You're represented as the Queen of Cups here. For career, you may be in the field of a nurturer, a home carer, you could be a counsellor, you could be a doctor, a practitioner, a therapist, someone that's in the very nurturing field. Again, you could be caring for people, caring for animals too, but you have the quite the touch when it comes to nurturing yourself and others. You're always there to lend a hand. You're always there to care for others too. Now is also a perfect time also, Scorpio, to care for yourself, to nurture yourself. You probably have a lot of love for your career, but also don't forget to nurture yourself too. After a hard day at work, it's okay to nurture yourself, um, pat yourself on the back too, reward yourself with something, maybe buy yourself something, a treat, going out to dinner, some form of reward that you really deserve. <laughs> Second card, we also have the Three of Cups here. So with Korea, you may be waiting on someone to get back to you. You may be waiting on an email, a response, a meeting, some form of communication you're waiting on. Yes, there is a form of delay here, but the delay is not because of you, Scorpio. The delay is because of others that need to get through their emails, uh, their workload, but they will get back to you. So if you are waiting on very important people, and you may also have this energy of feeling sad that no one's getting back to me, your ship is coming. You can clearly see in the background here, how the ship is arriving. It's not leaving, it's arriving. So you will get some form of communication. People that you haven't heard from in a while, they will get back to you. This is something important though too. It's a form of communication that's important to your uh, projects that you're very passionate about. Whether you're starting a business, a side hustle, a hobby that can turn into something very profitable. Yes, 
you will get a response back. Last card for Korea, we also have the King of Pentacles. Excellent. So I do feel, Scorpio, because it's just right under the page of Wands, you will be receiving some form of communication from this particular person. This person can probably have Earth in their chart. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person is in a high position, has a lots of money, corporate position, CEO perhaps, uh, the owner of some large corporation, a big business. So I will, I do see, or I'm feeling actually, that you're going to be getting some form of communication from this page of wands. Uh, it could be like something as easy as an email, some form of communication. And again, this could be a great opportunity too, talking about expansion, talking about offers, changes, you may be offered a new opportunity to go somewhere. You may be offered a promotion too, because he is the king of pentacles, money, finances too. So again, there could be some sort of offer with more money too. So overall, career looks fantastic too. Let's have a look at your finances. First card, we have the queen of wands here. So the Queen of Wands is represented as someone that has a fire in their chart. However, though, Scorpio, I am picking up this is more represented by you because you are quite passionate when it comes to money. You like to save for a rainy day. You like to put money aside for vacation, money to for long term, money for expenses. So you do have quite the ability to really manage your money like a queen or a king. It doesn't really matter with the gen gender but you do have the capability to be structured and disciplined with your finances too. You may also be receiving really good advice from someone roughly about around the same age as you. Someone could be giving you some form of mentoring, good advice when it comes to money too, that you don't know about. So keep your eyes and ears opened. Second card, we also have the King of Cups here. Mm, so we have both divines. We have the queen and the king of cups here this is also represented by you scorpio again being very structured very disciplined with your money too this is when you put your money to good use too you handle your money very responsibly like a king someone in a very high position even if you're not in a high position you handle your money like you're in a high position and be very responsible and very structured you also have the four of cups here even though you may feel a little bit bored a little bit uninspired at the moment in other words that you you probably feel that you don't have enough money do not worry because the universe is going to present you with this cup an opportunity i do highly feel i'm picking up it's going to come from this king of pentacles here this person is going to be offering you a cup an opportunity in terms of your finances because at the moment there is no loss of money which is great fantastic but what i am seeing here is opportunities lots of opportunities here because again you've got a king here you've got a queen here too another queen another king here very important people around here. What about your spirit team? Let's have a look. What does your spirit team want you to know? Okay, so we do have the hanging man here. So the hanging man here at the moment, and it's closely related to this card too. Feeling not inspired, feeling a little bit, ugh, just like on a routine, like on a Ferris wheel. Not moving forward, not moving back. But this is the moment though, Scorpio, to look at things from a different angle. What else can you do? Your spirit team are asking you, what are your options? Maybe you need to adapt to something. What can you sacrifice in order to move forward? What can you sacrifice, Scorpio? Think about it for a moment. Maybe it's an old belief, an attitude, a habit, situation, people that no longer serve you, that you need to let go of in order to move forward. Only you can answer that though, Scorpio. This also can mean sometimes traveling too. Now, if you're certain that you're not going to travel though, it does mean that you are moving forward. Even though you have the hanging man, you feel that you're not moving forward, you are moving forward. 
because you will make the necessary changes in order to move. Second card, we also have, yep, we've got the Eight of Cups. Oh, this highly relates to the Hanging Man. So the Eight of Cups, this is when you leave behind a situation that no longer serves you. In fact, the true meaning behind this card is when your spirit team forces you to walk away from something. There's something that's not working out. There's something that no longer serves you. You're feeling uninspired. It's not good. So this is the only card in the deck that this person does show their back and they walk away, but they're walking towards the sun. There's something better out there waiting for you, Scorpio. But in order to do that, you need to let go of something. Now, letting go could be something easily as a belief, a limiting belief that you feel is true. This could be a situation, friends that don't make you feel good, a relationship perhaps too. There's something here that you will be walking away, but it will be for the better. You're going to feel actually more free. The last card we also have, excellent, the Ten of Pentacles here. Your spirit team are telling you you're going to make the necessary changes and you're going to have money. Money to share, money to save, money to go somewhere too. So I do feel there's going to be quite an opportunity here with this King of Pentacles here. You may be afraid to take this opportunity, this opportunity right here because it may require you to let go of something too. Something easy as getting, uh, leaving a comfort zone, getting out of your comfort zone. But it's promising because you've got the 10, the 10 of pentacles here, an increase of money. But let's get some confirmation cards. Scorpio. And for those who are new, do not forget to subscribe to our channel because every week you get two readings. Fifi will be focusing on your career. Sorry, Fifi will be focusing on your love and romance and I will be focusing on your career, your finances and anything that your spirit team wants you to know. So Scorpio, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Fifi and I absolutely appreciate all of you. Thank you. All right, let's find out. <clears throat> One more shuffle. Okay. So the Queen of Cups has been confirmed with excellent justice here. So justice is also about finding balance. Justice is about, for example, finding work and play too. Make sure you, like I said before, with the Queen of Cups, learning to nurture yourself, Make sure you also find the time to find that balance in your life. For, for example, don't just work. Find a moment to have that balance, to spend time with loved ones. Really enjoying your life, not letting life just pass right through you. This is also the card of contracts too. A business contract, some sort of career contract, employment contract. There is some form of contract right here that will require your attention. It will require for you to read all the fine print and it looks absolutely fantastic too. Let's have a look at this. Now you have the three, you've got the three of wands here. You also have the five of cups. This has come out twice here. Okay. So Scorpio, you're waiting on, you're waiting on something, but I have a feeling that you feel that it's not going to come that something is not going to come, but your ship is definitely coming. I, I know it requires for you to be patient, but the patience is testing your limits, definitely. It will be okay. You just need to be patient and wait for certain people to get back to you. That's all, Scorpio. Uh, with this King of Pentacles, you also have the Four of Pentacles here. So again, the four of pentacles is keeping your money closed. You're not also revealing your next move, which is not a bad thing, Scorpio. I think that's an excellent thing. You don't have to reveal everything. You don't have to tell everybody your next move. I think that's that's great, actually. I do, I'm do. i going to take out another card. Yeah, you also have the moon. There is a bit of fears. There's a little bit of fear of the unknown. I have a feeling that you're probably waiting on this person to get back to you, if anything, and... 
there's just a lot of fear base. Let's take another card. Is this person going to, okay, this person's going to get, you've got the world. A new cycle is going to begin. This is a fantastic card. It's a great omen. Congratulations. This is like when things go so smooth for you, Scorpio. The world is your oyster. Things are going to start moving now. More importantly, though, this is when a brand new cycle begins. A brand new cycle now. So it's like leaving behind an old attitude, old beliefs, and it's like you're resurrecting now. More importantly, it's very important now to start thinking very positive too. Start to think very positive. Start to think that whoever you are waiting on here is going to contact you. I do believe that they're going to contact you. And this person here, this King of Pentacles, will contact you. And it's going to start a brand new cycle in terms of your career. With your finances, you have the Queen of Wands. That's also been confirmed with the Three of Cups here. Excellent. So there's celebrations here. This person is going to give you really good news too in terms of your finances. I see gatherings, celebrations, opening, holding your, raising your glass up. People just being really happy too. So there's going to be some form of shift with your finances. It could also be related to this King of Pentacles. I feel that you're just going to be overwhelmed, over happy here. So finances with this person looks good. This person, I feel that's just going to really give you good news. The King of Cups is also being confirmed with the Six of Pentacles here. Excellent. So this is money being shared, money being divided equally, no more and no less. This is money being divided, but this is like really generous too. Perhaps even lucrative too. You might even be surprised. So I do see an increase with money here, money being shared, like given to you. And I do feel it's highly related to your career too. With the uh, Four of Cups, you also have the Four of Swords here. You need to rest, Scorpio. You must rest and learn to, re to so you can recharge your batteries because if you're overstressing too much, yes, it can lead to a burnout. It can lead to um, you just uh, falling apart, in other words. You don't want that. Just have a rest. Do not overthink about too many things. It's going to be okay. You'll, you will see that there's going to be some form of shift here. I'm going to take out another card. You also have the sun, the happiest card in the deck. Do not worry. Any challenging cards that do come out, the sun lessens the blow. This also means traveling to a hot and sunny place. If you are definitely know that you're not going to travel, it means that you're going to be moving forward, progressing too. So again, there is no money loss here. There is a bit of nervousness. However, though, there's going to there's money to share, money to be paid to you equally too. Now, with your spirit guide here, you had the hanging man. You're walking away from something, but you also have a lot of money here. So the hanging man, yep. So we do have the knight of swords here. The knight of swords is the fastest moving knight here. They're not galloping, they are charging. Offers changes, promotions, and some sort of offer here. So again, there will be some sort of change here that's going to get you out of feeling stuck, feeling imprisoned, feeling unable to move. With the... Uh, eight of cups here you also have the six of wands here you're going to be moving away from troubling times you're going to be moving away from challenges any oppositions here because you, you actually will be taking the action here Scorpio you're going to take it upon yourself to actually walk away from something it's been confirmed here and then with the ten of pentacles wow so you also have the seven of cups here choices lots of choices it doesn't really matter which choice you make scorpio because at the end of the day you will make the right decision all you got to do is just ground yourself here remove the emotions and you will make a logical decision because don't forget that whatever offers and i feel like there will be more than one offer coming towards you and you may feel a little bit overwhelmed um, because you don't know uh, which choice to make you will make the right decision here I'm going to take out one more card. You also have the lovers too. Fantastic. So for those who are single, yes, there could be more than one potential person that wants your attention too. There could be someone that could that might charge towards you because they really want your attention and it could be absolutely beautiful too. Because again, with the lovers, it is someone that matches and mirrors you. 
someone that you can be yourself, you can show your vulnerabilities, your flaws, and the person will definitely accept you. So there is love too, which is beautiful. Scorpio, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to even take out one more card because I'm absolutely loving this reading here. You also have the fool here. Take a chance. Take a chance on love. Take a chance on opportunities that are going to come your way. Do not be afraid of making the wrong decision. If you follow your heart's desire, you cannot make a wrong decision, Scorpio. I'm going to take out some angel cards for you. Give a shuffle. Excellent. Take out three cards. Two, three. Excellent. So the first card we have, cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns here. How interesting. I do feel this is highly linked to these cards. Walking away from something, letting go of something that is probably hurting you or not serving you to its best. The next card, we also have Ascended Masters. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. You always have someone watching over you, um, Scorpio. There's always someone watching you through the good and the bad times. And the last card, Solar Plexus Chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. Excellent. So take charge of your life, Scorpio. Make the right decisions. In fact, you know what decision to make. You know what it is that your, your heart wants, your heart desires too. You have a beautiful reading here and all you got to do is just take a chance with opportunities, love, success, anything that comes your way. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me in this reading. I wish you the absolute best. I loved your reading, actually. <laughs> Thank you again, and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.